In this video, I'll be showing you how to create a materialized view in AppSolver. Materialized views are streaming key value stores on steroids. They can contain billions of rows and can be easily queried hundreds of thousands of times per second with millisecond latency. An AppSolver materialized view is created by defining a query on a stream. Once the materialized view is running, it will remain up to date and queryable in real time. The sample data stream that we'll use for the demo is a stream of votes for users' favorite superheroes. As you can see, we're getting an object with a user ID, a country, and a list of superhero names and universes. Let's create a materialized view that counts the number of clicks each superhero got per country. First, we'll click on Add Materialized View. We'll give our materialized view a name. We'll call it Country Superheroes Demo. Now we'll select the key columns of the materialized view. These are the values we need to provide when we want to get a row from it. Let's start by selecting the country column. We can see a visualization of the data here so that we know that we picked the right one. Now we can pick the superhero name. Notice that this value is in an array, since each user picked a DC and a Marvel superhero. We don't have to worry about that though. AppSolver will handle the unnesting for us. Now let's add some aggregations. First of all, let's add a count star, so we'll know how many times each superhero is picked per country. We can choose any size aggregation window we want. In this case, let's pick one year. Next, let's make sure that each superhero is associated with just one universe. We can add a multi-value aggregation. This uses a secondary key to create a map of results per row. Let's pick the superhero universe as the group, and we can leave the expiration window the same. We could change it if we want, but we don't need to. Again, notice that we didn't do anything about the array containing this field. AppSolver will automatically scope any cross-field operations, so universes will only be associated with names that were in the same record in the array. We finished defining our materialized view. Once we click Run, and we wait a few moments for the materialized view to populate, we'll have it up to date and real time.